Sunday, Senator Warnock and Herschel Walker wrapped up the first week of campaigning for Georgia's U.S. Senate runoff. It came one day after control of the U.S. Senate was officially clinched thanks to a Democratic win in Nevada. And with that fight for a majority now gone, the focus for Senator Warnock and Walker now shifts. 11 Alive's Dawn White has more on their push for votes ahead of the runoff. Neither candidate for the U.S. Senate got 50% of the votes, with 2% of voters casting their ballot for the Libertarian candidate. It's full steam ahead, with a little more than three weeks left before the runoff election. Herschel Walker! Republican nominee for U.S. Senate Herschel Walker stumped for votes on a chilly Sunday afternoon in the parking lot of Lion Creek Brewing Company in Peachtree City. They get mad when you said, make America great again. And I'm saying you live here in America. Shouldn't you want it to be great? Yeah. This is where you live at. You shouldn't you want it to be better than anyone else? Yeah. Guys, we're not a second-rate citizen. We're not second-rate country. We're first. Meanwhile, incumbent Democratic Senator Raphael Warnock pushed for votes at Morehouse College. At an event tied to Atlanta rapper Little Baby's Fall Festival. Our message is the same. This election is about who's ready and who's fit to serve the people of Georgia in the United States Senate. It's a race about competence and about character. It is about turnout, turnout, turnout. People will forget to turn out to vote. There will be people who don't care that much about this race uh, who will set this race out. 11 Alive political analyst Andre Gillespie believes even with control of the U.S. Senate decided, both parties still have a lot at stake for Georgia's Senate seat. The losses on Tuesday in the statewide constitutional offices um, certainly were a blow to Democrats, and they would actually want to make the case that they are still competitive and demonstrate that not just by the single digit margins. Gillespie says for Republicans, winning the seat has implications beyond 2022. This is a seat that was, you know, once held by Republicans. So Republicans have an incentive to try to recapture that seat. Um, and that makes it easier for them going into the next cycle in terms of trying to recapture control of the chamber in 2024. The Atlanta Press Club will hold a Georgia Senate runoff debate on Monday, November 21st. Both Warnock and Walker have not yet said Said whether they will participate. It'll take place in the Georgia Public Broadcasting Studios in Midtown Atlanta.